time for new. Last week we uh, skipped new, so now we have some new this week. Yeah, all right. Filaments. Got we a have a bunch of filaments. Okay, so this filament. Do you want to do it over the overhead or on there? Or yeah, I mean, do? sure. There, there are some flexible filaments, but I can't remember the name of... Is it protopasta? Yeah. I think we have some protopasta. We have some coffee. Uh, this smells like coffee, apparently. Yeah, it does a little bit, yeah. Sure. Well, when it's melting, it's it's extra coffee-licious. We have yeah. some gray filaments. Um, check okay. them out. I guess, just, where, do you, where do you want to show these? Well, I mean, here? it's just things. These, these are filaments. So this is a, a uh, this is like a PLA type filament, um, so it's stiffer. And then this is like a flexible filament. So I don't remember. This might be a new, this is a Ninja Flex, one of the Ninja Flex filaments, and it's, um, it's semi flexible, so you can make flexible kind of rubbery 3D prints. Okay. That's it. All right. Moving right along. Moving right along. Next up, we have the Enviro hat. Yes, this is another one of the fats. It's not a hat because it doesn't have the fat. EEPROM and it's not the same size, but it's from Pimeroni. Uh, and it has all sorts of temperature sensors, analog digital converters, um, accelerometer, motion sensor. So you can uh, do a whole bunch of environmental sensing with your Raspberry Pi. Everything, I think, it talks over I2C, so it's very easy to do. Okay. Great. Do you want to show it off or do you want to just... Uh, oh. I'll show it, but you know it's... This fixed. photo is kind of This nice. photo is yeah. kind of it. I mean, like, it, it, it plugs on top of a Raspberry Pi Zero. This is it in the bag. And then if I open the bag, you know, it comes with header, you solder on. And then, um, yeah, it's got a nice matte black solder mask. And then, yeah, you just plug it onto your Pi. Biosensing. Internet okay. of Things. All right. Next up. Okay, next up is some updated products. Yeah. So this is the um, starter pack for Windows 10 Core for Raspberry Pi 3. So we were uh, using it for Raspberry Pi 2, and now we've updated to Pi 3. And the neat thing for Pi 3 is that, of course, you get a much faster processor. Uh, it's a quad core, higher frequency, and also it has built in um, Wi-Fi. So we don't include a Wi-Fi adapter anymore because you just use the Wi-Fi that comes free with your yeah. Pi 3. And uh, you get an SD card. You'll have to download the image because uh, you can use noobs, but we don't distribute the image. They decided they would prefer people to uh, grab the image when they um, start so they get the most recent version. Yeah. But other than that, it's the same same parts, same kit. Okay. All right, next up. Um, we have an updated product, and then I'll do the last one sure. for the day. Um, this is, yeah, this is Pi News. Um, hey, guess what? We got the 512 megabyte Pi A+. Pi A+. Plus. A yes, yeah. this has been high demand. Uh, you know, it's funny. It's like when the, there's Pi 3s, and then people are like, I want Pi 0s, and there's Pi 0s, and they want Pi A+, pluses, and there's A+, pluses, and people want the 2s. So um, the A+, plus is back in stock. It has up, been upgraded with 512 megabytes of RAM, at same price as before. So now it's matched up with all the other, uh, you know, Pi 0, uh, Pi B+, plus, the other older Pis. 512 megabytes of RAM is great. Same processor, same form factor, everything else is the same. Um, so that's the... That's the update for the A+. Plus. We have them in stock. Yeah. We did a double take. We're like, hey, these are new. Yeah, it was like, whoa, these are a little bit different. Yeah. But it's exciting. It wasn't really announced. It was. Yeah. We asked Pi Foundation. They're like, yeah, yeah, this is like, a oh, new. Oh, yeah. Here this is new. All right. So um, this is going to be a little weird. The star of the show tonight besides you, Lady Ada, is a product that you can't buy because we sold out so fast. I know. Uh, here it is. This was the teaser video we did a while ago. And then on adafruit.com forward slash adabox, we had like a you know page you can get notified when we had this Adafruit subscription box. And this is for people who haven't experienced Adafruit quite yet. It's for beginners, and it has a project, and it has things that you can build, um, a tutorial, uh, videos. You know, we have stuff with this. And uh, later on, we did a video to just give you an idea of what adabox is going to be in the long term and more. So I'm going to play that.
and uh, tutorials. We have special collectibles, and we also have discount codes. We have a huge FAQ, and uh, good news, bad news. Uh, good news is uh, we, we didn't know we didn't know how many people would be interested. Turns out it sold out in less than 21 hours, and we'll do another round for people to hit the next batch. Um, we want to make sure there's a lot of subscription businesses. A lot of them didn't work out. Um, we want to make sure we build a sturdy business that makes sense. We're doing USA only first. It's just like when we release new products. You know, yeah. whenever I make a new um, design, even if I know it's going to be popular, I will always. Um, uh, start with only 250 of the product yeah. and sometimes it sells out in like two days and people are like well why don't you make more and I was like well I want to make sure that I get it right and sometimes um, you know people come back and they're like hey I found a bug or there's an upgrade or an, um, a way to improve it like you know we have Circuit Playground Developer Edition we had Flora in a pre-release yeah. and then once I feel like it's solid we can expand it so I think the first Ada Box um, is going to be a really good experiment we're going to see how people like it and we're going to get feedback, and then yeah. we'll expand and, and do more and more yeah. with it. So, um, you know, this is you know, we're showing our work as we go along, and we'll talk more about it. But uh, this is what it is right now. And uh, thank you, everyone. And we'll uh, have an international option later. We'll have um, videos of when it's unboxed. Mm -hmm. We'll do it live. Yeah. And uh, we're going to keep having other times for you to uh, get one or give one as a gift. And, uh, you know, just to manage expectations, if you're an Adafruit super fan, this is more on the collectible side, but if it's really meant to give to someone who they're just getting started in electronics so they can experience um, all the best things about Adafruit kind of every quarter. Yeah, if you um, already own everything that we sell in the store, there might be some repeats. They'll be like, hey, you sell this. You, you might know. have some repeats, but also, for sure, you'll have something that's available nowhere else, which yeah. is probably a collectible. That's true, we there's have some, a collectible. Yeah, we have some things that we're doing. So, okay. So, Lady Ada, with that, guess what? What's new products?